نحمد و نسلی علی رسول الکریم اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشیطان الرجیم بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم الحمد لله رب العالمین with the mercy and blessing of Allah سبحانه وتعالى today we will discuss precepts regarding salat al-taraweeh and what is salat al-taraweeh it is another name for salat al-tahajjud salat al-layl and we will see that in detail with reference to the Quran and Sunnah Insha'Allah, and we begin with the dua, Rabbi ja'alni muqeem as-salati wa min zurriyati, Rabbana wa taqabbal dua, Rabbana gfilli wa li walidiyya wa lil mu'minina yawma yaqoom al-hisab. Ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. Alhamdulillah, ya Rabbil Alameen, for the blessing to learn, reflect and correct ourselves. The choice is ours. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us align our life with Quran and Sunnah. The literal meaning of the word tarawi is meaning is like rest and relaxation. And what is Tarawi? Uh, tarawi is the special name given to this Salatul Layl, given to this Salatul Tahajjud, which is just prayed in what month? The month of Ramadan. So how did this came about? How how we know this? We will see this inshallah. But uh, Taraweeh prayer is a means to forgiveness of all the past minor sins. So you see this hadith of the Prophet that an Abi Hurairah radiallahu anhu anna Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qala man qama ramadana imanu wa ihtasaban gufira lahu ma taqaddama min sambihi. So Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu reports Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said all the past minor sins of a person who stood for prayer in Ramadan with belief and with the notion to get reward will be pardoned. All right, so two things, very important. So you have Iman and you have Ihtasab. If we have Iman that yes, we are getting accountability, but we have no Ihtasab, we are going listening to the ayahs and we are not even doing self-check. We are not even knowing what the ayahs are doing, saying to us, then how are we going to do self-check, right? What is this ayah speaking to me? Self-check will only come when we understand and then we ask ourselves that, you know, what is the Ihtasab? So inshallah, if you want to write these words, write yourself that Ihtasab, Tabal Al-Ihtasab. Do your own self-check before we are going to be checked on the Day of Judgment. So that will really help. Keep yourself in, in, in account. And, and that's what we hear in 30th Jews also, that these people, uh, they thought that, oh, they are not being monitored. But, you know, the, the, and the person who is looking forward to meeting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they were... They, they knew that what they are doing, they are, you know, going to, they are, they are being accounted for. They were looking forward to this hisab and ihtisab, subhanAllah. So, inshallah, you can see there is no word of Salatul Taraweeh here, but this is just like one palma. So, whoever is standing for Salatul Layl. So, um, so that is, they have all the sins, the forgiveness of all the past minor sins. Now, Taraweeh prayer of midnight prayer in Ramadan is the other name of Tahajjud or Qiyamul Layl. So, it's the same name. All right, so you can call it Qayyamul Layl. And we saw that earlier, the traditional Rakah and Tahajjud prayer or Tarawi is how much? 11. Yes, 11. How? By 8 in Nafal prayer and 3 in Bitter. So, but there's no limit to untraditional Rakah. One may perform as many as one wishes. So, we see again that uh, the same hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that, uh, you know, uh, remember the word, we can again highlight this word, Madis or the Husni Hinna wa Tuli Hinna, right? So, Hazrat Abu Salama bin Abdurrahman radiallahu anhu, he said to Aisha radiallahu anha, what was the condition of midnight prayer of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? She radiallahu anha, she responded that Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did not offer more than 11 raqa, whether in Ramadan or other than Ramadan. He, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, offered four raqa and you cannot imagine their ex excellence and their length duration. Then he وسلم, offered four raqa and you cannot imagine their excellence and length of duration. Then he وسلم, offered three raqa and transmitted by Bukhari and Muslim. Now the time for Tarawi prayer starts after Isha prayer till the advent of Fajr. It is excellent to offer Tarawi prayer, prayer by performing Salam after every two raqa. We've seen that. Why? Because it's the same as Salatul Tahajjud or Salatul Layl. And it is traditional to offer one independent raqa of Witr. So we see from Hazrat Aisha radiallahu anhu, she reported Rasulullah offered 11 raqa between the Isha prayer and Fajr prayer. He وسلم, concluded every two raqa with Salam and then he وسلم, turned the whole prayer into Ord by offering one raqa. 
right? Subhanallah. And uh, we see, we have seen earlier also in our sitting, the last sitting that we had, Salatul Witr, that Witr is Haq. Whoever wishes, let him pray Witr with five Raqqah. Whoever wishes, let him pray Witr with three Raqqah. And whoever wishes, let him pray Witr with one Raqqah. So we have seen this in Sunan Nabi Majah. Now the Prophet ﷺ led his companions in Taraweeh prayer only for three days. This prayer comprised eight Raqqah besides three Witr. Okay, so the question usually people ask that is it a bidah to, to, to do taraweeh in the masjid or something like that. Why? Because Hazrat Umar anhu is the one who established it later. You know, when people were coming into Islam and to give them the opportunity to listen to the Quran and to, you know, uh, he, he, he started that congregation. But you see that this is the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu He had led people, companions in taraweeh prayer for three days. Now, during these three days, Rasulullah did neither offer tahajjud prayer nor with her because it's the same name subhanallah if you look at it this very prayer with congregation was his tahajjud prayer or qiyam ramadan or taraweeh so i hope it's becoming clear like what what is something special so if you start hmm? prayer, like uh, taraweeh with, with the congregation month, and then go home and be, you can do an extra you can yeah. you can so, so there, can there is no there is no uh you know as as we said it's nuffle prayer yeah. so you can yes. you can always do that you can do a combination you can do however you know works for you best in salah and uh, can you even go to that congregation here is the answer yes for men can go to the masjid for tarawi prayer okay so alhamdulillah that is there so we look at this as, as one uh hadith that abu zar radiallahu anhu reports we kept fast with the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam and the sallallahu alayhi wasallam did not lead us in taraweeh prayer till seven days of the month were left then after the one third of 23rd night he sallallahu alayhi wasallam led us in taraweeh prayer subhanallah so you see here um it's just the words the salah right you know an abi zar radiallahu anhu qala sunna ma'a rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam falam yusalli bina hatta baqiya sabu min ash-shahri fa qama bina hatta zahab thuluth al-layl so it's all about qiyam and qiyam and standing and praying salah then on the 24th night he sallallahu did not lead us in tarawi prayer then on 25th night he sallallahu led us in tarawi prayer after midnight we said, O oh, Rasulullah Sallallahu um, uh, how good it will be if you lead us in prayer for the rest of the night. Rasulullah Sallallahu said, a reward of the whole night's prayer will be rewarded to the man who offer prayers with the Imam till the Imam returns from the masjid. SubhanAllah, you can highlight these words and inshallah, you know, Allah SWT will give us ajar with standing with the Imam as well. Innahu man qama ma'al imami hatta yansarifu kutiba lahu qiyamul layla. Allah knows we cannot sometimes pray the entire night. So if you have just stood, prayed with the Imam, went back home, came back for the Fajr, then it's like considered like the whole night prayer also. Then he وسلم, did not lead us in Taraweeh prayer till three days of the month left. Then he وسلم, led us in Taraweeh prayer on the 27th night. And he وسلم, called his family members also. He وسلم, lengthened the prayer so much that we feared less fala should end meaning that the dawn will break and it will be morning. I asked Abu Zarr Ta'ala Anhu, what is Fala? He sallam, said the time to stop eating and drinking before the advent of Fajr, translated by Tirmidhi. So even in today's time, you see many of the masajid have now, with the name of Qayyamul Layl, they started the past like few few hours or few minutes before the uh, sahu time they have even that setting also some people prefer going at that time and you know reciting so it's again depends on whatever works best for you now it is lawful to recite the holy quran in prayers other than obligatory prayers by reading the script by holding the musaf is it okay can we do that yes, yes we see that how because of that Aisha radiallahu anha, um, her slave Zakwan radiallahu anha, and, and who he used to let her in prayer and made recitation by reading the script from the Mus'haf he would hold and read. So if you want to do that, you can do that. Inshallah, if it's like for ladies, sometimes it's more preferred to be inside the house. And if you enjoy, you know, your level comes to that, but you're understanding, you're reciting. Those who are hafizah, they can recite it. Those who want to see it from the script, they can look at the script and they can recite. Now, it is not appreciable to complete the recitation of the Holy Quran in less than three days. What is this known and in our countries? Anybody knows? 
Shabina, right? Subhanallah. So there is, uh, are you familiar with this term? No, not in your countries. So in the last, like they typically what they do is the 27th of the Ramadan, they do like a Fatma Quran that the Quran is completed. And after that, it's like, you know, huge festivity called known as Shabina. And in every night, they're going to recite 10 juice of the Quran. So I remember myself when I was very little to go at one and I was like, oh my God, this religion is so hard and I have to stand so long. Like mom and dad, they are like praying in prayer. Yeah, in prayer. So it's like the whole tent. So you're standing there and it's like huge festival. There was huge lighting and beautiful environment. But then you're like, oh my God, am I crying, doing a sin? I'm not able to stand. I'm not able to like, you know, because it's, it's very, very long. So if you see, it is not appreciable to complete the recitation of the Holy Quran in less than three days. Uh, and Abdullah bin Umar radiallahu anhuma anna Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qala lam yafahu man qara al-Quran fi aqalla min salat al-layl. Abdullah bin Umar radiallahu anhu reports Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, a man who completes the recitation of the Holy Quran in less than three days, Lam yafahu does not comprehend it. Like you're just racing through it. So here, if you can write, please write. There are five rights of the Quran. So reading when recitation is one. Tilawa wa tartil is one. But there are four others. So one are, what are the others? Number one, the iman wa ta'zim, which is belief and honor it. Number And that's why obviously people are standing there. So alhamdulillah, that is done. But the third one, tafakkar wa tadabbur which is uh, understanding and reflecting. So when we're going with that speed, how are we going to understand and reflect? And uh, implementing the guidelines, hukam wa iqama. So establishing what the Prophet ﷺ or Allah SWT is telling us, that is something really, really important. Otherwise, it's just empty words. And then conveying and clarifying, tabliq wa tabiyin. These are the five rights of the Qur'an. So Rasulullah one more time, if we can highlight this for ourselves, that lam yafqahu man qara al-Qur'an fi aqalla min salat al-layl. So he has not comprehended if he has done it in less than three nights. Now it is against tradition to complete the recitation of Holy Qur'an in one night. Unbelievable, but yes, this is also what people do in this area. I personally know a mosque very, you know, close by to my brother's home, and they have separate rooms in one. And they can you can select, you can select, you can go to the main where there's 20 rakahs, you can go to a place where there are eight rakahs. There there's a place where you're doing the entire Quran, so they have different different options because there are so many hufas mashallah in that in that community but here we see that Aisha anhu says I do not know whether the Prophet ﷺ did ever complete recitation of the Holy Quran till the morning and Aisha radiallahu anha qalas la alamu nabi Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qara al-Quran kullahu hatta sabah rawahu ibn Majah and mashallah you all the students of Quran the learners the strivers of Quran you can appreciate like see he's just reciting one ayah the whole night because it's so intense just to absorb that let alone we do the entire Quran. So it is not proved by tradition to observe intermission for tasbihat after two or four rakah of the Ravi prayer. How many of us have seen that? In our own countries that do that. You know, after every four rakahs, they will have something or else going on and they are like, you know, known, like they have printed our even like they, they, they sell out tasbih or awi and things like that. But that's not proved by tradition. It's not, there's no smart known way for that. And it is not proved by tradition to recite Dhru Shrif loudly after the Surabi prayer. So it's just a Qayamul Lail and you should handle it that way. So Alhamdulillah, uh, with Quran and Sunnah, with the correct teachings, may Allah SWT give us a tawfiq to live life the right way and uh, help us apply what Salah is trying to teach us, which is complete systematic life. And may Allah SWT help us, you know, pray Salah right on time. Not that we are praying too long of Tahajjud, too long of Qayamul Lail, and we miss the Fajr the next day. Right? SubhanAllah. Because far this far and nafal is nafal. So, walas in al insana lafi khus illa ladina amanu wa aminu salihati wa tawasaw bil haqqi wa tawasaw bil sabr. By time, mankind isn't lost except for those who believed, who did the righteous deeds, who reminded each other of truth and who reminded each other of patience. May Allah SWT make us of those. Jazakumullah khayn kathira. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.